The information was provided by one of the companies that has not only a fleet of taxis, but also its own service. She uses the same Mercedes, Vito minibuses and E-Class sedans. The last, 170 pieces, all with a 184 horsepower gasoline engine. They are operated for three years or up to a respectable 250,000 kilometers. Perhaps, in such conditions, the Mercedes-Benz E200 should quickly show all its strengths and weaknesses. The current E200 is not equipped with the 2-liter at all. The index no longer corresponds to the working volume in cubic centimeters with the discarded zero, but a 1.8-liter supercharged engine. Before the overhaul, he can safely move 400,000 kilometers, unless, of course, adventures happen to him, which we will tell about below. One of the weak points is the timing mechanism. On pre-styling models produced before 2013, cases of chain stretching and malfunction of the variable phase system clutch on the intake shaft are common. In the clutch, the locking latch of the advance mechanism is destroyed, and the motor emits a diesel roar. As for the chain, according to the regulations, after 100,000 kilometers of run, its stretching is checked, and after 120,000 kilometers it must be changed. In fact, the spread of the resource can be from 70,000 to 130,000 kilometers. Only the noise that appeared in the timing will tell you a close replacement. If you do not pay attention to it, then sooner or later the chain will jump the teeth, which will lead to a meeting of the pistons with the valves. After the modernization, these timing elements have been strengthened, the chain and all clutch parts are now improved hardening. As a result, the chain has become almost eternal, like the internal retainer at the clutch. And everything would be fine, but someone took it into his head to change the coupling mount by removing the key. As a result, the problems became even greater. Now the intake clutch turns and it tears the camshaft position sensor plate located on it. The trouble is that this can happen at any time, there is no dependence on operating conditions. There were cases of replacement in 15,000 kilometers. The turbine resource is about 150,000 kilometers, after which it starts to drive oil. Sometimes there are cases of leakage of oil pipes of the turbine. They sit on partially plastic seals, which become brittle over time from exposure to high temperatures. Oil pouring from the tubes falls on the generator, located exactly below them. If the leak is small and was not immediately detected, then the oil leaks begin to coke inside the generator. In this case, sooner or later, its repair is inevitable. If you act in hot pursuit, there is a chance to simply wash the generator. Does the cabin smell like burnt plastic? It is necessary to check the pipe of the pressurization system installed behind the intercooler. He has a habit of melting from overheating. Leaking oil filter modules are a problem for all cars. The plastic housing has an aluminum plate to which the heat exchanger is attached, the place where elements from different materials meet and begins to leak. This happens at the first significant temperature drop in winter. The contact plane warps, which causes a leak. Transmission. A 7-speed automatic transmission does not usually survive overheating. Moreover, the warning indication on the instrument panel appears with a clear delay, when the control system is already failing and the clutches are on. The first thing to die is the less massive high gear discs. It will save you from repairing the box and extend its life by washing the radiators of the cooling system with their complete removal every 60,000 kilometers. As in the engine, in the machine, there is an element that does not obey any laws. The internal control board of the box can fail at any run, the microcircuit burns out in it, do not confuse it with the control unit that is installed outside. With this problem, the box goes into emergency mode with movement only in second gear. Factory regulations for changing the oil and filter in the machine prescribe this operation every 60,000 kilometers. In general, with proper maintenance, the box can live 400,000 kilometers. There are, of course, individual cases when the unit died even at 50,000 kilometers, but the reason for such failures lies in an obvious factory marriage. The steering rack starts knocking and leaking after 100,000 kilometers. The side seals are flowing, which are also the supporting elements that emit a knock. It is very difficult to change them, so the rail is considered non-reparable. The price of the node is about 120,000 rubles. There are no problems with rods and tips, they are changed only after an accident. Maintenance of the rear gearbox with an oil change is provided for 100,000 kilometers, basically there are no problems with it. Oil seals begin to flow only to 200,000 kilometers. Suspension. Silent blocks in the suspension run for 150,000 kilometers, shock absorbers, 
or 100,000 to 140,000 kilometers. In the rear suspension, the front rubber mounts die by 80,000 kilometers, longer than 100,000 kilometers do not live in floating hinges of self-orientation of the wheels in a turn. True, and they cost only 1,500 rubles. In general, the rear suspension is reliable. The front suspension has adjustable wheel bearings. You should check them at each MOT and change the lubricant, they can burn out with the old one. In advanced cases, when the bearing is destroyed, the brake disc begins to rub against the caliper bracket due to the large wheel play. The rest of the elements do not suffer, but even without this, an additional replacement of discs will cost a pretty penny. Usually they are enough for two sets of pads. The front ones live 30,000 kilometers, the rear ones, 45,000 kilometers. In winter, the rear pads may have increased wear, with active driving, they wear out faster due to the stabilization system. The air conditioning system works flawlessly. Cases of compressor replacement are rare. Every spring, the taxi company refills the system with compressor oil topping up, but this is especially true for taxi cars that do not know rest. The procedure is carried out simultaneously with the planned washing of radiators. The electrics as a whole have become much more reliable than in the previous generation of the E-Class, but they still could not do without weaknesses. Closer to 200,000 kilometers, problems begin with the wiring of parking sensors due to moisture and reagents. And at the first MOT, servicemen additionally sealed the headlight control unit. Due to poor sealing, moisture gets into it and condensation accumulates, and it can burn out. By the way, on the pre-styling model it was one block, and now there are already two of them. The price of one is 13,000, the other is 25,000 rubles. The quality of the bodywork is still very good. Rust was seen only after poor quality restoration of damaged panels. In general, the E-Class body has no weak points, its repair does not require special technologies. When choosing a car, the company did not reinvent the wheel, but took advantage of European experience. Most of the cars in the taxi companies of some European countries are Mercedes. In Russia, some companies tried to fill this segment with other business class cars, with varying success. Despite certain problems, the Mercedes-Benz E200 remains the best in terms of price, quality, and cost of maintenance.